guys um, have been are going to be missing some more players um, this weekend with Nagby and Jermaine gone. I mean, how do you deal with that with all the injuries and now you're missing players? There's really some important players for this month for Cup America. Yeah, I mean, we've been missing a lot of players the entire year, and I think we've done pretty well with that. Again, we have a very deep team. We have a very talented team. So, again, I got confidence whenever it comes in, so does the coaching staff and, and the fans should as well. It's, we have a lot of great players in this team, and, you know, I know the guys who come in are excited to get in and prove, you know, why they should maybe be playing more. Last uh, last two years, you guys also had slow starts. The big, one of the biggest differences in 2015 and being able to get out back to playoffs was that the team went on a bit of a run. They won, I think, like six or seven games right mm -hmm. around this time. Mm -hmm. How important is it for you guys, given that slow start, to get on, maybe not that type of run, but get on some sort of run and start quickly building up points? Yeah, it's always important. You know, that what's nice is that we're only one or two two wins out of a, essentially a playoff spot right now. So we know it's a long season and we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. But again, I think last win was a very a good point in the season for us, a good, very, very good, you know, confidence booster going into, uh, again, some, some games without some of our important players. Obviously, Jollington and, and Jermaine are very, very good players and it's going to be tough losses. But again, I think getting on a good track last game was, was a great step and now it's just all eyes on Chicago and I think it's a it's a winnable game if we go in there and play our um, you know play the way we can play and worry about us. Now that you've had a few days since the win, did it, can you tell us whether it felt different? Is there a difference to that win than the other wins this season? Yeah, I think so. I think it was um, obviously Cascadia games are always different. So you know to be able to play and you know to feel the passion from the fans and uh, that was my first Cascadia game at home. So to to feel the energy was it was definitely different. You, you can't say those games are the similar. Than, than other teams, but again, it's um, it's just ha we're happy to win. Whether it was a Cascadia team, whether it's anybody in the league, we're just happy to get back on back on the winning track. Did you feel like did the feel because you've been so close in those one goal losses? Was there a bit of a sense of relief and maybe uh, relieving the tension? Yeah, definitely. You know, we've been giving up a few goals after having leads, and I think to be able to hold on and to, to weather the storm a little bit and to get overcome that was a good step for the team. And a good mental, a mental step for some of the guys who who've been in the squad and kind of felt a little bit of, you know, heartbreak the past few games because we've let up some results. But at the end of the day, you know, we, we were able to close the game out and it was a huge win and hopefully it propels us to, to more wins. Does it change your system at all not having Darlington, I guess, remain too in there for the next month in terms of how you guys have to approach games? Um, I think obviously everyone recognizes that Darlington's a very gifted player in the attacking third and, and Jermaine's a very good defender. So you know things will probably look a little bit different just because you know I don't think there's any player in the world like Darlington um, in the attacking sense and Jermaine just a very very good defender so um, you know obviously it'll be a little bit you know of a change but again I'm, I'm confident and whoever steps in I, I um, don't know who it might be but at the end of the day we have a great team we have a deep team and you know I think that whoever's going to get in there like I said will be hungry to show maybe you know maybe I should be playing a little bit more and um, again hopefully that I know that those guys will help us uh, get hopefully get some three points on the weekend. Chicago seems like a team right for your first road win is it that simple? Can it be that simple? Um, I don't think it's ever as simple as that, but um, at the end of the day, we, we are confident in our abilities going on the road, and we've shown that we've been in games and probably should have won at least one road game by now. I mean, we've been up. We were up in New England. We let up a goal in the 90th minute, I believe. We were up in, uh, we were up in Dallas. We were up in... And we were up in Vancouver. So we've shown that we can go on the road and play well. And now that we kind of have that, you know, we closed out the last game a little bit better than we have in the past few games, that extra confidence can hopefully propel us to get a result. But again, you know, we can't look past any, any opponent ever.